What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in to Token Metrics TV and to my channel, The Quant Insights. Today, I'm going to talk uh, again about the Token Metrics grade because it's been performing pretty well and because uh, a lot of people have been requesting like how to really use it, how to leverage it, when to know exactly when to buy, when to sell, uh, and things like that. So I wanted to further the analysis on the TM grade so to give you a better idea on how to use it and how to leverage it. So first of all, uh, like uh, I showed before, this is the token metrics rankings page on our website, tokenmetrics.com. Uh, this is a screenshot of today. So here you can see the TM grade uh, of these coins and here is how they changed uh, in 24 hours. And then the trading signals from our trend uh, following uh, low frequency and high frequency uh, trend uh, signals that you have on tokenmetrics.com as well. So you can see here, more, all of them are, are, are bullish. Uh, they all have the high TM grade, so that makes sense. So let's uh, recap a bit from the last uh, video where I showed the time series of the grade in blue and the price uh, in red. So here's an example of Binance coin uh, where you can see where the TM grade is high when we had a huge rally, so perfect. We were able to capture that. And then the TM grade went straight down when uh, right before uh, Binance uh, started going down. So that's a good sign as well. And then it was very high when you had the second rally and the third rally here. But how to actually use it? When exactly to buy, when exactly to sell? This is what I want to try to answer and give you a better idea uh, during this video. So... I wanted to try something. I want to say, okay, what if I buy when the grade first crosses above 80? And what if I sell when the grade first crosses below 60? And between 60 to 80, I'm in a neutral uh, zone because you can't really have a one threshold where you're bearish and, and above you're bullish. You need to have a zone where you're kind of neutral, especially when uh, prices are ranging and when there's consolidation and things like that. So it'll be more apparent are further on in this video. But if I actually apply these signals, I, I'm bullish when the grade crosses above 80 first time and bearish when it crosses below 60. This is how the signals would look like. So it looks uh, pretty good. This is on Binance as well. Here is a logarithmic chart to see it uh, better. Uh, and here is actually the backtest of doing this as a trading strategy. Now, obviously, the returns are pretty good compared to holding. Uh, max drawdown is very well reduced and the accuracy of these trades is pretty good although there's a minimal amount of trades but still a good sign that above 80 is usually good for bullish below 60 is usually good for bearish now let's do further analysis i want to see what can i expect uh, in terms of returns when i see a coin that has a grade between 80 to 90. so here i'm looking at the one day forward three day forward and seven day forward returns. So at a snapshot, if today I look at a coin that has a grade between 80 to 90, what can I expect uh, historically? And here are uh, the results. Now, very good that it's skewed to the right. So a high grade uh, gives you way, high, way higher uh, gains uh, than losses. And it's shown in the confidence uh, interval here where the gains outweigh uh, the losses. And here are average uh, daily uh, return, three-day return, seven-day return is a 10% gain. So that's pretty good. And here are the best case scenarios. So between 80 and 90, sanity check, the returns are good. But you can still expect uh, a coin that might have an 80, 85 grade. It could still uh, cause you a one-day uh, loss. So be uh, cautious uh, about this. But on average, a grade between 80 to 90 will have uh, good returns. Now I want to try a different thing. What if a grade has, what if a coin has a grade that is neutral and then suddenly jumps into a bullish grade or above 80? Uh, what does that jump uh, show me and what can I expect in terms of future return? Now here it's not, the returns are, are not as good as when you were, when we were looking at grades between 80 to 90, because here we're looking at grades uh, around 70 and that jump. Uh, so, but still, that jump still signifies that okay, there is a good uh, forward-looking, uh, sorry, forward uh, returns uh, when you have that jump. So, a jump in the grade is also important to keep an eye on uh, to see that if it goes above 80 from a low grade, then this is a good sign that it could have uh, great returns in the future. 
Uh, now, another analysis is what if I have a coin that has a low grade somewhere around 50, but then suddenly jumps to a 75 or an 80 or something like that. Also, a uh, good uh, returns characteristic, but here you can see that losses are, are, much, are a bit higher, uh, which shows that a coin that have, has a grade of 50 still isn't as good as a coin that has a grade of 85, even if the 80 jumps into like a 70 or something like that. So uh, this is just uh, one type of analysis I wanted to show you guys. All right, so to give you a better idea, I'll give you more examples on coins uh, that have a grade above 80 where I go bullish, and if it goes below 60, I go bearish. Let's look at a few examples to see if actually the performance uh, was pretty good. So first chart is always, I just want to see the grade, how it evolves with the price. So here's Bitcoin, and if I actually test uh, where above 80, I'm bullish, below 60, I'm bearish, and in between, I'm neutral, uh, this is how it will look. Green, painted green is when the grade is above 80. Red is when the grade is below 60. Uh, and where there are gaps or light gray, it is usually a neutral zone. So not uh, bullish, not bearish. So Bitcoin, you can see a uh, pretty good uh, performance. Visually, you can see that uh, whenever the grade is above 80, you can see uh, an uptrend. And when it's below 60, you can see a downtrend. So it would be a good idea to sell when the grade below, goes below 60 and to buy when it goes above 80. Uh, for Bitcoin. Looking at further examples, this is Ethereum's chart, uh, and this is how Ethereum looks, similarly pretty good. Uh, although here, the grade uh, dipped uh, at, at the point here, not as early as we would have liked to, uh, but still we were able to sell uh, during this uh, downtrend and then buy back uh, during this uptrend. Further example, this is Sandbox. Now I'm going to plot it as logarithmic because we can't really see what's going on here. And this is how it will look for Sandbox. Very good performance. Uh, when the TM grid is above 80, it's all the way here. Below 60, downtrend. Uh, here, consolidation gets some volatility in the grid, which could be expected. And then uh, here, we were able to catch the most recent uh, exponential move, which is very good. Uh, Decentraland, uh, similarly, uh, above 80, and we're in a rally. Very good. Below 60, uh, some drawdown periods, and then we're also able to capture the big exponential move uh, most recently. Engine coin, also very, very good performance based off of only the TM grade. Uh, TM grade above 80 during this entire rally, very good. Below 60 during this downtrend, also very good. And we're able to catch the recent rally as well. Now looking at Axie Infinity, also log chart to be able to see better. Uh, good performance, although some cases were neutral, we should have been bullish, uh, but overall very good performance of TM grade. Uh, AVAX also very good. Now AVAX had a very, very wide uh, range here where TM grade was pretty volatile. So that's something to keep an eye on. So here you can see uh, it flips between 60 to 80 and things like that. But still the big exponential move are all captured by TM grades like here. This drawdown period is skipped, and then we buy back very early on where uh, you were essentially mostly long during this most uh, recent rally. Near protocol, also pretty good performance, as you can see here, mostly bearish during the downtrend and bullish during the up up uptrend. Cadena, also extremely good actually by TM grade. This is one of the coins that was purely flagged by TM grade and caught, caught our attention. And for the past like four months, it was graded very high. And you can see this huge uptrend here uh, when the grade was above 80. And we were able to sell uh, somewhere here uh, during this huge downtrend and then go bullish again here. So that's very, very good performance. Last one is Loopring. Uh, also a good performance, although some cases of uh, false signals when you're ranging. Uh, but you skip the big drop and you capture uh, the exponential moves. So here I explained using the TM grade as, okay, I turn bullish when it crosses above 80, I turn bearish when it crosses below 60, and I'm neutral in between. So uh, I hope I give you a good idea on how to use it in, in that framework. But if you still find it a bit complicated or a bit too noisy, uh, then my uh, advice would be to just leverage the indices that are uh, on our website. Because uh, recently they've been performing uh, extremely well. Uh, so I want to go through the daily uh, 
the daily performance of these indices because on our website, we're showing the cumulative returns since the launch date. But let's look at for the past uh, month, how was the performance day by day for the daily and weekly high cap indices because they've been performing pretty well. So first off is Qcoin uh, daily uh, high cap index. So here, nothing really uh, impressive uh, in the most uh, recently. It hasn't been performing extremely well. This down day was when Bitcoin and Ethereum went down 10%. So you can expect the, the index to go down, although it went way less, it went down 4%. And it had like a 6% up day, 4% up day, 4% up day. So it, it's been pretty good in terms of Qcoin. Uniswap daily had extremely good uh, returns, especially on this day, on November uh, 20, where just one day this index returned uh, 20%, and the worst case loss was never uh, above 5%. So uh, the daily indices have been uh, reacting pretty fast to the most recent market condition and been performing pretty well. Uh, now looking at uh, Coinbase uh, exchange, pretty good performance. The losses are around 3 to 4% and also gains above uh, around 3 to 4%, 3 to 4% so nothing uh, extremely good. Kraken daily index has been... Uh, absolutely uh, killing it uh, recently. Uh, you can see when the whole market tanked, it only went down around 2%, but it's been able to get really good uh, daily returns uh, around 8%, 6% or so. So that's been pretty good in terms of Kraken uh, daily. Uh, the old exchange daily over the past uh, six days, even when the market tanked, all positive return with the best one, 20% uh, gain. Uh, so that's pretty good. Binance, not so good. When the market tanked, it had high exposure to high cap uh, currencies in the top 20. So it was uh, it was exposed to this downtrend, did perform very well uh, most recently, although on one day it did a 10% gain after the 12% uh, percent loss. So that's not really offsetting that loss. So now let's look at weekly uh, weekly indices and how they are performing day by day. So here, looking at Uniswap, look at the past six days, all positive returns, although the last week did a minus 6%, but after that, plus 7%, 3%, 3%, 2%, and the past two days, 10% uh, consecutively, which uh, has been uh, really, really uh, good. If you want to look at, uh, let's see if I have it here, not here. Uh, so yeah. So Uniswap weekly performing extremely well recently. Coinbase weekly extremely well uh, as well. Uh, 8% uh, gains a couple of times, 7%, 5%. So that's uh, pretty well. The worst case loss was around 8% when the whole market tanked. But it's been able to uh, really uh, get back these losses very, very quickly. Uh, and, then, and then if you look at Kraken, also the past three days alone, you had a 10%, like 8%, and around a 17% uh, return. Uh, so that's pretty good. To see how these returns were actually being uh, got, like how these coins were picked, uh, this is the Coinbase uh, exchange. Like we saw, it had a pretty good recent uh, return here. Uh, and you can see the allocation, which are these coins. Now, unfortunately, the highest uh, weight was for AVAX that didn't have such a good uh, return since rebalance, but just since two days, these are the returns of the holdings uh, of that coins. We had Crypto.com, uh, Decentraland, Gala, and Playdown. So very good performance for uh, Coinbase Weekly. Uh, Kraken Weekly also noticed this uh, recent jump uh, in performance, uh, and this was the allocation. All of them uh, positive. We had Sandbox with 70% return, Decentraland 34, Engine Coin 33, so big um, metaverse plays were captured uh, by these indices. So I wanted to show you the indices because they are extremely related to the TM grid. If you feel like it's too much to keep track of each coin and looking at their TM grid when it's going up above 80, below 60 and all these things, just leverage the indices uh, on tokenmetrics.com because these indices are taking into account the token metrics grade getting coins that have a high token metrics rate, and then it constructs a diversified uh, portfolio around that. So instead of just looking at TM grades of individual coins, you can just look at the indices 
you can either replicate the indices or you can just look at what coins are being picked uh, for these indices. So that gives you more confidence in going in uh, or going out or so. So I hope you enjoyed the second part of the token metrics grade uh, analysis. Uh, and like I said, I think it's very important to leverage that grade and also leverage uh, the indices. Uh, so that gives you a holistic, holistic approach in constructing your portfolios. So thank you uh, for watching and thank you for being with us. I uh, hope you enjoyed the content and more similar uh, content for next week. Thank you. See you next time.